So when it comes to achieving anything or doing anything successful, the best people to learn from are those people who have done it successfully. That is why, hands down by far, the best product research strategy you can use is flipper.com. The amount of times I get asked from people, I get emails or comments on my videos asking what the best product research strategy is, flipper.com. It's fast and it is 100% free. In the space of a few minutes, I was able to find this business here, so restotter.com. This is a business that's only been going for five months. It's made over 30K in profit. It's a one product drop shipping store, so the product is very easily accessible and they are purely focusing on a US market only. This is the perfect recipe that you can take and sell and produce in a different country. To be able to sell something profitably in the US, I cannot stress how much easier this is to do in other countries. I've documented it in past YouTube videos. The US is by far the most expensive place to advertise. So that being said, let's jump into the computer and take a look at some information. The store is called restotter.com. You may have seen this product before. I've spoken about it on my channel before three, four months ago, and here we are, there's a store here that was able to take it and scale it to some decent numbers for the space of time. I don't think there's many people watching this video that are gonna look at this and think in five months, they did nearly a quarter of a million with a net profit of 43K. I think it's safe to say as a beginner to achieve this level of success would be more than adequate and most people would be happy with this. So let's jump into the numbers. We can see an average monthly profit of 6,000 US dollars. We'll jump down before we take a look at the operations, etc. I wanna show you the actual numbers themselves. So let's get rid of this. There are kind of alarm bells when you see something that's on a typical downward climb because it shows they've scaled it and it looks as if the product is coming to the end of its lifespan. But even still in June, so last month, they were still doing 28K in revenue and just over 2K in profit. Before you write it off altogether though, what you need to do is jump into the information about the business and they can see here straight away they address this issue. So they had to turn down ad spend, um, which slows down sales in April to June, which we've seen that will be the reason for the decline because they had a supplier issue. They've since corrected the issue and now the owner can scale back up, increasing the ad spend again. Like I mentioned though, the US is by far the most expensive place to advertise at the moment. You are about to see a business that you can replicate and take the structure of and replicate with the same or similar product in a different country where it is cheaper to advertise and therefore you will make a better profit margin, assuming everything else goes correct, of course. The beauty of flipper.com as well is not only is it free and fast, but you also get to see the entire setup of the business. So we'll see the website, we'll see the products, and of course, we'll see the ad creatives that are currently active and working right now too. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Before we go any further, just a very quick message that if you are looking for a one-to-one -one mentorship, somebody to hold your hand through the entire process of taking a product like the one I'm about to show you and launching it in a country that has the potential to scale to five, 10K months and beyond, then I wanted to invite you to book a call with myself so we can have a chat in a bit more detail um, and see what's what. If you like the idea of that, check out the links in the description down below. It'll take you through to a call process where you can fill out some questions, an opportunity for, get, for me to get to know where you are now and where you want to be in one, two or three months time with my help. And if you have a realistic goal and you have a proactive attitude, it will take you through to my calendar where you'll be able to book a time and date for us to have a chat in a bit more detail um, and see how I can help. That being said, back to the video. So the business is simple in their own words, and the market is exclusively in the US targeting females through Meta. There's not many things that work in the US that don't work elsewhere either, unless you are trying to advertise, for example, some kind of political type product, whether it's like Donald Trump branded items or Joe Biden that is specific to the US, of course. Otherwise, whatever sells well in the US tends to sell well around the world as well. Daily orders are compiled and fulfilled by their supplier in China who invoices them weekly for the past week's cost of goods. So this is obviously not AliExpress. They're working with a proper drop shipping supplier, most likely an agent, and they most likely have that trust now from the past um, of regular payments that the supplier is willing to do this for them. Not all suppliers will do this. Sometimes they want you to kind of prepay for the week's orders so they can just go in unnoticed um, and undisturbed and basically just fulfill your orders. 
So let's say you prepay for 500 orders, they'll go in and fulfill up to kind of like the 400 mark, then they'll give you the nod to pay for the next 500. That way there's no delay waiting for payments, they can just go in and do their thing and get things dispatched as quickly as possible for you. So day-to-day -day operations involve managing ads and website optimization, requiring just 30 minutes daily, just 30 minutes a day. Once you have a dropshipping business up and running and things are going smoothly, then it really is 30 minutes, maybe an hour tops per day, assuming you're outsourcing the kind of less skillful task, um, one of those being customer service, which these guys do. So additionally, a virtual assistant officially handles all customer inquiries for $10 a day. So it's neither here nor there. Let's jump onto the Facebook ad library then. So this is for Rest Otter, um, approximately 23 results. So they were able to find success pretty quickly. Sometimes it takes longer than this for people. Um, sometimes it takes shorter, but it just goes to show either way, you need to test, test, test. If you've only tested one ad creative, that's not good enough. You need to test several before you can truly write off whether a product's gonna work or not. Just to point out, these are all still active. So this is a product that is still working. This is something, this is a proven concept you can take and replicate in a different country. Let's open up, I'm gonna show you a couple of these because there's two different strategies they're using. Um, they have this selection of primer text so struggling to get your baby to sleep through the night and they're also having this transform your baby's sleep into a tranquil oasis. Take it from somebody with experience. People are willing to pay significant amounts of money to get their babies, to get their kids to sleep through the night. It's a brilliant niche um, if you can find the right product. I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear that, but it's really soft and tranquil music. Um, there's not a grandmother out there or a mother out there that would watch this and not tug on their heartstrings because it's a cute kid sleeping with lovely music in the background and a really cute toy as well. It's just kind of like the perfect combination for Facebook. And we'll play this one on the other hand, which is the complete polar opposite. Um, again, I'm not sure if you'll hear the music, but it's really quite bold and in your face music with an AI voiceover. So it just goes to show both strategies are clearly working for the product. They're using content, so this is a product I am really familiar with, and they're using content I've not seen before. So it could be content they've filmed themselves, um, or content they've paid to have made, but either way, the key takeaway from here is, number one, make sure you test lots of different styles of ad creatives, and number two, try and stick to original content that you own as much as possible. Let's jump onto the website then. Um, so this is the homepage. Something to point out is this, the scrolling bar at the top with different popular brand names um, that people will be familiar with. This is a common strategy now I see a lot of dropshipping stores using. It's a great way to kind of piggyback um, off the reputation and trustworthiness these brands have because that naturally transfers across to your website. All they're simply doing is displaying the names. They're not saying they've been featured on them, but people will naturally make that assumption. Like I said, that trust, it will kind of like legitimize the brand if they connect an already legitimate brand that they know, if that makes sense. So this is their product listing. We'll go to the few the full details and take a look at the product page. So tons and tons of social proof. This is nothing you can click. It gives off the impression they have 10,000 reviews, but they don't. You can't click this. It just says 10,000 plus happy customers. Big and bold text and writing. I really like this gift here for in stock ready to ship. It's something that just kind of focuses the attention of somebody who comes onto the page. 24 seven customer service, which is a good thing to know for a consumer. Again, these are images I've seen before from AliExpress, but these ones are not, these all look, actually no, I think these are, I think these are recycled, but I would have to double check this. Either way, always try and do things original if you can. This is a nice function um, that really integrates nicely and um, aesthetically pleasingly. A lot of these can be a bit bold and brass and difficult to follow, but this one is straightforward and easy enough to do. Hit the Add to Cart button and it takes us straight to the cart page. It's not a draw cart, it's not a draw cart, sorry, it takes us straight through into the checkout process. Um, a little review and then kind of like a typical layout of a product page with a heading, short description followed by a GIF um, and some nice images and FAQ and lots and lots of reviews and so 186 different reviews for this one. Notice how the stars are on brand with the color and notice also how none of these make uh, broken English, they all look pretty good. 
and wherever they've gotten the reviews are from, whether they're legitimate or not, I don't know. A key thing to take away here, a big mistake people make is not proofreading the reviews they put on their website. Any dodgy reviews that do not look real will be a massive, massive red flag for anyone who visits the website. Let's go to contact us, a simple contact form, and a simple track your order page too. If we have a look in our Koala Inspector, one thing I'm just gonna double check is what their best selling products are. So they have the Rest Otter Calming Sleep, um, and then they also have the Rest Otter Calming Dog Companion. So the two best selling products is the same product, but for two completely different markets. So that should be getting your creative juices flowing as well in terms of who, who you wanna be selling this product for. And so, with that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I've shown you the product, I've shown you the ad creators, and I've shown you the store. Um, before you go, if you are interested in some one-to-one -one help, some hand-holding through the entire process from somebody with experience, make sure you check out that link in the video description down below, and I look forward to meeting you on the call. Thanks for the support, thanks for watching the videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.